بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Uthman was killed Uthman was killed in a vile, cruel and harsh way Uthman was a unique leader of the Muslims What were the reasons that Uthman was killed in such a way? Join us from Sham, the land of Jihad and Ribat till the coming of the hour to find out why Uthman was killed. <laughs> للنسيم عبيره الفواري ضادة رفعوا التميز راية هم في العزيمة همة الأنصار هم للطريق مشاعل الأنوار هم للنسيم عبيره الفواري The society in the time of Abu Bakr and in the time of Umar radiallahu anhuma meant or placed Islam above everything else. The society took Islam very seriously. The society was close to the time of the messenger peace and blessings be upon him. Now, in the time of Uthman, there was a gradual change in this. Why? Because there was many expansions there was many conquests, many people came into Islam, many of them didn't understand the Arabic language, they didn't see the messenger peace and blessings be upon him, uh, they didn't sit down to learn and practice Islam as it should be learned and it should be practiced. So the understandings they had and the way they viewed Islam were different to what the early generations, i.e. the time of Abu Bakr and Umar, the way they understood Islam. Many of the people that came into Islam and embraced Islam in the time of Uthman radiallahu anhu were Bedouins, they were Arabians. Now Allah says in the Quran subhanahu wa ta'ala The Bedouins are more uh, likely to be in disbelief and they're more likely to be to fall into hypocrisy. The reason is or the reasons for this are that number one they're not from an educated background. Uh, they don't really understand the teachings of Islam as it ought to be. And if they do learn something, they very quickly think that they've reached a high level in knowledge, a high level of understanding, when actually it's quite the opposite. So they're not willing to learn. And at the same time, they believe that they've achieved the high levels in Islam and they don't understand the virtue of those that they are dealing with, meaning Uthman anhu arda, and the rest of the companions that were around at the time. They believed that they were equal and on the same level, which is very, very far from the truth. The society in the time of Uthman anhu arda, had a serious problem on its doors. One of the gates to this serious problem was the willingness of people to accept rumors. Now, Rumors can cause huge, huge catastrophes to occur. But when someone hears something that's not true, something that's a lie, something that's been made up by those who have hatred towards Islam or hatred towards a particular group, what tends to happen is that if these are believed, these ideas are believed, and then they are acted on, it will cause harm to the greater body of people. Now, unfortunately, those in the time of Uthman 
were not all early companions. They were not all the friends of the Messenger, peace and blessings be, up, be upon him. They were people that entered Islam, they didn't understand it properly, they, didn't, they weren't very learned in Islam, they didn't have that level of piety and taqwa as the Sahaba did. So they were more willing to accept rumors. During the time of Uthman, during the end or towards the end of the time of Uthman, the conquest slowly died down until they eventually stopped. This was due to natural barriers, for example, the sea. They didn't have the technology to create or to make a naval fleet. So the expansionist efforts stopped. What happened is, when these efforts stopped, a lot of people uh, were out of work because a large part of Islamic society in those days would take part in jihad. And this was the norm. This was a normal thing for young men to do. So when they stopped, people had more time on their hands, uh, relaxing in the comfort of their homes, uh, discussing current affairs, eating and drinking. Eventually, it led to the questioning of Uthman. What happened to the spoils of war? What happened to the booty of war? Surely, according to them, Uthman must have distributed it to those that are close to him, to his close friends, maybe to his family members, and he is not giving us our deserved right. This was the start of, or the beginning of the end for the Khilafah of Uthman radiallahu anhu abda, and for, as a matter of fact, for his life. Another major problem that happened in the time of Uthman is a miss, is due to a misunderstanding in Islam. And many of the problems that occur in this Ummah are due to a lack of Islamic education, a lack of understanding of Islam, a very narrow, constricted understanding of Islam. And this was one of the major causes of fitna, of trials and tribulations in the history of the Ummah. Now, one of these misunderstandings was an incorrect understanding of Wara'a. Wara'a in Islam means to leave that which is uh, permissible in fear of falling into that which is forbidden. Uthman, so these people would look at every single detail of Uthman's life, for example, what he bought, where he went, what he done, uh, what he does in his time, which is not their concern. As a matter of fact, it's not permissible in Islam to request of others to have wara'ah. If you have wara, this is between you and Allah. If you leave that which is permissible in fear of falling into that which is haram, that is between you and Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're sincere, will reward you greatly for it on the Day of Judgment. But to ask others, to ask of others to leave that which is halal for them, uh, in fear of falling into haram, this is not permissible in Islam. And this is one of the things that led to the catastrophe of the killing of Uthman, the false understanding of wara' and uh, spying or looking into the intricate details of other people's lives that we are not allowed to look into and actually which is not necessary to look into. Another point which led to the fitna, the tribulation that led to the killing of Uthman was the fact that there was an organized effort against Uthman this effort was headed, spearheaded by a Jewish man named Abdullah ibn Saba, who was pretending to be a Muslim. This very man, later on in the Khilaf of Ali, even declared that Ali was a God that is worshipped without Allah, in association with Allah. So this man and his followers and others actively made rumors, lies, about Uthman, exacerbated things um, in order to cause upheaval in Islamic society, which will lead to the eventual demise of the weakening of the Islamic State. Join us next time from Asham, the land of Jihad and Ribat, till the coming of the hour to find out how the friend, the companion of the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, the Khalifa of the Muslims. Uthman ibn Affan, 
radiyallahu anhu was killed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.